guys, King Ben 9008 here, and today, if you've guessed, we are playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is our first video of Euro Truck Simulator 2, and it is going to be a good one. Um, basically, if you don't know what this game is, you're about to find out. This is my first video, and if you're wondering who I am, I, don't, I think I just said, oops, I'm King Ben 9008. I play Minecraft, I play Euro Truck, I play a lot of games. Not necessarily I'll record all of them, but I play a lot of games. So basically I've played Euro Truck before, I know how this game works, and I'm just gonna take you through how it works and we're gonna just turn that game for you guys so you just in case you can't hear me. We're gonna play, I'll just use that logo, fuck it, we can change it I think anyway. Uh, what's our company name gonna be guys? What about uh, TTG? What about caps? Now the reason I say TTG is because I'm playing with keyboard, uh, keyboard at the moment because I haven't got my steering wheel. It should be arriving soon maybe, I might be getting one, we'll see. They're quite expensive but besides the point, what was I talking about? I don't know, this is my first video of Euro Truck Simulator 2 that's going to be posted. I've had a couple of those series but I might left a big gap in the middle because I started playing and it wasn't in time to record. Oh, stupid, 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 stupid. Right, now, this is based in Europe, so basically you've got Germany, Czech Republic, Poland, Switzerland, Hungary, which you need mods for, I believe. Austria, Italy, Switzerland, France, Luxembourg, Berlin, Netherlands and the UK. Um, basically, they do a mod. If you didn't know, they do a mod going east. The company actually does the mod, and it gives you a lot more of Poland, and I think it gives you Hungary and Slovakia as well. Um, I'm not sure if it gives, gives you Italy. And then occasionally, I've seen people that have done mods themselves going out of France which does look pretty cool and would be I'd be keen to give a go but unfortunately I just bought this game and I'm not planning on buying Windsor which is a pile of, um, supply, uh, like helps it runs the mods and it's quite it's like about 50 bucks so I don't have 50 bucks at the moment so we're gonna start in Aberdeen the reason we're gonna start in Aberdeen is because if you've noticed it's probably one of the most remote places same with Rostock. Rostock's a pretty remote place, actually, in Poland. Um, I mean, we could also start in the Czech Republic, but you get quite a lot to destroy and whatever. And nah. Now, the reason I'm trying to get a place that's so remote, well, you make quite a lot of money. In fact, Rostock, oh, nah, that's not free going there you end up making more money for your trips and it's quite cunning I know this area has got a lot of truck dealers and stuff so we're just gonna stick with our team and we are not going to do the territorial because you don't really need to see how I'm playing the game um, if you don't want to buy the game and you do want to try it out yourself and Jack runs on your computer which I do recommend go and get the free trial, it's a reasonably lengthy free trial, so you can play it for a long time, and I've heard you can glitch it, so you can actually play it for free, but don't do that because that's rude, and um, you're not supporting the company that creates this awesome game, so don't do that, please. Because that's actually pretty rude. Right. I'd read that to you, but fuck that. Whoa, 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 what is going on? There we go. We are loaded in. So we're driving. Obviously, whilst trying to use Minecraft, fucking fuck's sake. Right. So, we're driving a Scania Streamline. Nice truck. I owned one when I was testing out it, and it's a nice truck. Good truck to drive and stuff. I'll turn the volume up because we're in the cab. So basically, we're going. This is we're going from Aberdeen to Aberdeen. Occasionally, if you're lucky, um, you will get a job from your town you're originally in to another town, but that's very rare on the territorial. Now, in manual, I physically have to change gears. So 
Let's see how that goes. As you can see, the graphics in this game are amazing, and it's not just the graphics. You know, occasionally you get a good game with graphics, but the um, shit, shit, don't go that way, don't go that way, idiot. But if you want, you know, if you're thinking, oh fuck, it's got good graphics, so it's actually going to be shit. This is a simulator, and this is probably one of the best simulators I personally have ever seen. It's probably a tie between this and the new um, Spin Tires, which is also a pretty awesome looking game. We will play that, but I'm currently running it off a diff uh, computer which isn't mine, so we won't be doing that off this computer. Um, okay, we're doing it. You, okay, Styles Wall. This is different. It's okay though, because this doesn't actually really affect my pay. Well, it does, but not really. And this is only the slight one anyway. Just had to get used to that, because, wow, well, I haven't played this game for a little while. Now, because I've got experience in this game, I'm going to tell you that the UK is a cunt, and this is actually part of Scotland, I believe, but the UK is a cunt because of speed cameras. Speed cameras is the biggest pain in the ass, especially in the UK, but towards colours and stuff, you get a lot more... Um, a lot more, fuck this truck's actually pretty good, you get a lot more, what do, what do they call it, a lot more top -offs. so you end up weighing it out the same, but, well, oh, beautiful, now this game does lag a bit, but, when you take into account the graphics, you kind of get an understanding of why. And it's not just this in and outside you can get. You've got all sorts of different views. And I recommend you to get the trial of this game because I, you know, if you don't want to, or if you've already got the game, good for you, mate. But Oh shit, we're not actually turning that way. But this game is actually, seriously, one of, oh for fuck's sake, you're going to be a dick and just turn like that. But this game is actually seriously one of the best simulator games I've ever played and I've ever experienced. This is amazing. And, speaking of this, they've actually got another one coming out. It's called, um... It's called, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, it's called American Truck Simulator and that's coming out in January and I'm recording this in August, whoa hit the, fuck, okay what just happened there was I hit that stupid piece of shit, my truck went up on two wheels and I crashed into a power plant thing. Probably going a bit fast for that corner. Okay. Haven't played this game in a while though, so I'm gonna use that as my excuse for crashing. Just because I can. Now, this video is gonna be extremely short because of the fact that we're doing the territorial job. After the territorial job, we will do a lot more stuff, like bigger journeys, and I'll show you a lot more about the game. But this is literally a little taster, so... Um... No, oh, and 58 bucks. Oh, fuck. 58 dollars. Holy shit, that cracks me up. Oh, don't... Please respond, okay? The, the only... 
thing about this game is, I don't know, it doesn't happen that much, but it does have a tendency to crash occasionally. If, like, I had a Toshiba. Oh shit. I'll fucking mute that for a second then. I had a Toshiba and it actually broke my Toshiba because the RAM wasn't strong enough to handle this because it only had a 4 gig RAM. You can handle this on a 4 gig RAM, but it was something about the Toshiba. I don't know what it was. It works on other computers with 4 gig RAMs fine, but something on the Toshiba didn't like it and it didn't like the game and ended up crashing the computer, which is why we're playing this game on a different computer to auto. Pardon, to <coughs> fuck's sake, <coughs> fuck. To what I'd normally do it on. As you can see, the graphics are amazing. Fuck's sake, um, there's awesome mods, <sighs> and there's truck dealers, and you can upgrade and customize your truck to how you prefer driving. You can upgrade your skills. You can take photo shots as you're driving. It's it's awesome. It really is, and if you go into your folders, you can actually put music on there. So, and if you want to, you can um put. Well, I don't know how that quite how that works, but you can put stuff and stuff. And oh yeah, oh. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, this is about a twelve minute video. I think I've got enough. I don't know. Probably close to ten minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video, watch more, like, subscribe, make sure you visit our main channel, TTG, or Troublesome Tuba Gamers, this will be in King Ben 988's Euro Truck Simulator playlist, make sure you watch it, look out for Sir Quacky Duck and I think it's Die, 36, something like that, some videos, and yeah, goodbye.